Welcome to Be Nice to Yourself podcast that will give you practical tools to finally be nice to yourself so you can stop yelling at your kids and enjoy being a mom. Using coaching and lots of love, I'm your Russian Canadian host, certified life coach and mom of four, Natalia Schneidmiller. Hey guys, how are you? I am so good. I am going to talk to you today about victimy hurt versus empowered hurt. And I think understanding the the difference between these two is the nicest thing you can do for yourself because it literally gives you all of the control back in your life. You feel empowered instead of feeling hopeless and out of control over everyone and how you feel. You feel the opposite. You feel calm and control, empowered and able to face anything in the whole world, okay? So let's talk about that because it is a gift you can do for yourself as the nicest gesture you can do for yourself, okay? Let's do it. Victim hurt is when you're feeling a negative emotion like guilt or just pain, sadness, any sort of negative emotion that you're experiencing and you're attributing the cause that like that emotion to something outside of you like somebody who said something to you um somebody did something to you uh, somebody didn't do anything for you um you know the weather um your children's behavior what your husband says um what your boss says right that would be classified under victimy her because you are not owning how you're feeling and you're giving the responsibility and the power to an external source, to somebody else outside of you. So then you become the victim of them because the reason why you feel terrible is because of them or that, whatever happened, even the past. If you assign how you feel to the past, well, you can't change the past, so you are a victim of your past, right? So anytime you attribute how you feel to something outside of you, you are experiencing kind of a victimy hurt or suffering, okay? Uh, and then, then we have something that I call empowered hurt, where you still feel a negative emotion, and in fact, you can feel it very intensely. You can cry and you can be sad and you can feel really guilty and I know this because I have experienced that myself and you can still feel completely in control of how you feel and your life and you can choose to feel differently if you want to but the reason why you are experiencing like any negative emotion and still feel in control is because our life still consists of 50% amazing and 50% shitty, right? So if we're embracing that, then um, when I'm feeling a negative emotion, then well, I know that the best practice is to allow it, process it, and move on. And in fact, resisting it and not feeling it will only make it stronger. Okay, so let me tell you a little bit more about why it is empowered, how, how is it that I can be empowered and still feel hurt, okay? So I'll give you a little example from my own life. About two weeks ago, um, my son's eyes swelled up uh, and were red, okay? So he was having an allergic reaction to the pollen, right? To the seasons, he has seasonal allergies. And I was like I started spinning out in this whole story that I made up in my head that it is all my fault. I was feeding him foods that made him sick. I did not fix it. I knew what the problem was a couple years ago, but I didn't eliminate those foods. And now it is all my fault. And I felt extremely terrible. I, I went into my office and I cried and I had these waves of 
crying and feeling just so, so terrible. Guilty. I felt like a terrible person for feeding him foods that hurt him. And I believed it, right? So I felt so, so bad. But the difference here is I was, while I was crying and while I was going through that, I was aware that what I'm feeling is not coming from the way I behaved in the past, like not like feeding him the foods. It wasn't coming from um, like his, bo- uh, his eyes being red and swollen. It wasn't coming from me being a terrible person in the past and feeding him the foods. Like it wasn't coming from anywhere outside of me. I was fully aware that that was coming from my brain in that moment. And because I was aware of that, I was a lot more open to feeling the feelings. I was a lot more uh, accepting of them. I was like, okay, I feel terrible, like a terrible mom. I feel guilty. I was a lot more open to naming them. I was a lot more open to sitting there and crying and letting it be what it is without going and trying to like change my pantry and like calling the doctors and like talking to my husband and convincing my husband we should go gluten-free. I really had that desire. I was like, okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to change everything. We're going to let me talk, go talk to Doug and decide that we're never going to eat gluten for the rest of our life so that our son's eyes don't swell, blah, blah, blah. And it's not to say that I'm not going to do that. In fact, we have made some dietary changes, but I have made it from such a more calm, non-reactive place and not in an attempt to feel better. Okay, this is such a big distinction. When I was crying and I was going through all the guilt, I was not reacting to those thoughts. Okay, I was sitting there and and letting cry. Okay, excuse me. (coughs) Excuse me. And so I knew that like what is coming up from me, I want to process it. it. It is all coming up for me and it's coming from my brain thinking all these thoughts. It's my fault. I didn't fix it. It's too late. I was feeding him foods that like make him sick. And I recognize those thoughts as sentences in my mind in that, in that moment. I mean, it wasn't like super easy, right? I had to sit there and I like had to write one or two out, and I had to like pay attention to what I was thinking, right? And I had to remind myself, right, like these are just, this is what I'm thinking, and of, and when I'm believing it right now, it feels really, really terrible for me. I feel pain, I feel hurt, I feel guilt, okay? I knew that like what is coming up for me, I want to process it. it it is all coming up for me and it's coming from my brain thinking all these thoughts. It's my fault. I didn't fix it. It's too late. I was feeding him foods that like make him sick. And I recognize those thoughts as sentences in my mind in that, in that moment. I mean, it wasn't like super easy, right? I had to sit there and I like had to write one or two out and I had to like pay attention to what I was thinking right and I had to remind myself right like these are just this is what I'm thinking and of and when I'm believing it right now it feels really really terrible for me I feel pain I feel hurt I feel guilt okay so because I was aware that it was coming from my own brain I felt first of all open to processing it open to feeling it And I was not reacting to it, which could have been, you know, me taking it out on my family. And I felt, on top of that, I felt light. I felt in control. I felt like nothing has gone wrong. There's no outside problem of me that something's really wrong, that I can't fix, that it's hopeless, okay? So I felt all of this power over my life. In me, I felt capable of having the life that I want, of like choosing what I want for me. And it was literally choosing to feel hurt 
And I knew that was coming from my thoughts, okay? So this is the difference. And it is available to you with a, two things, with a, awareness, so practicing awareness of your thoughts and your feelings and practice. And a lot, a lot of failing at that practice, Okay, so it, it didn't just happen to me in one day. I've been doing this for years. And this is the difference that uh, I've noticed is that you can feel a negative emotion and feel completely empowered. Okay, and this is what I want to give to you today is that that exists and that's available to you and you can experience it today. It does not take years you can literally sit and, and ask yourself, what am I feeling right now? And then the next question you can ask yourself is, what am I thinking right now that's causing this feeling? And right away, if you identify that thought and you open the possibility in your head that maybe this thought is creating this feeling for me and nothing outside the, of me is creating it, then you have just given yourself complete power and control over your emotional life, which is how we experience life, by thinking about life and feeling. We're, you know, we feel uh, a, a certain way about something based on how we think about it. Okay, so let's take an example of someone not... Uh, someone doing something to you and you would say, well, how can, how can, you know, them doing something to me not affect me, right? I'm going to take an example of one of my clients and her uh, not getting a promotion, okay? So she would be tempted to feel hurt because she didn't get a promotion, and where her work lies is that she would, she would have to see, okay, when I did not get a promotion, what did I think? What am I thinking right now about not getting a promotion? Well, if I'm thinking they let me down, then I feel hurt. And the reason why I'm hurt is not because I didn't get a promotion, but because I'm thinking a thought, they let me down and I'm believing it, okay? This is a huge difference, right? Because they, they, have, you know, might not have any intention of letting her down or hurting her. And even if they did, what they do cannot affect you until you have a thought about it, okay? Um... And if we attribute our, our feeling to them, we're like, oh, I'm just so hurt, they let me down. What happens is we are stuck in the victim -y hurt place where we have no control of how we feel because we can't control how they act. So we're always going to be stuck in that loop of, well, I'm going to try this so they can change their way they behave, but if that doesn't work, I'm going to feel shitty again about myself. Okay? If this doesn't work, I'm going to try again to change how they behave. And if I still don't get a promotion, then I'm still going to be feeling terrible. Okay? So then we're stuck in the loop of trying to manipulate them so we can feel good about ourselves. But if we recognize that the only place that our feelings can come from is our thoughts, then we take all the power back in our life, okay? So it's kind of like um, when we cut a finger uh, by accident when we're cooking, right, when we're cutting something, and we accidentally, you know, cut a little our finger and it bleeds, we uh, feel the pain of the cut, right, and we treat the cut, put a band-aid on it, but we while we're feeling the pain of the cut, we also know that we caused it ourselves, right? We're like, we did it with a knife. Our hand held the knife and we sliced our finger, right? So it's not like we're feeling uh, 
out of control or disempowered here. We're like, no, I'm holding the knife and all I have to do is just pay more attention and like hold the knife a certain different way so I don't cut myself, right? So we still feel in control even though we're feeling the pain. And so what? this is the same thing with the thoughts. So a thought would be the knife, right? If we have a thought that f- uh, feels, uh, can, uh, creates a feeling of hurt for us, then we're cutting ourselves accidentally, right? And that's totally normal. We have a human brain that will think so many thoughts and you will think thoughts that feel like pain. This is totally normal and your brain is working beautifully. But if we attribute that pain to somebody else, something else outside of us, not our thought, then we're screwed. We are hopeless. We're not in control of our life and we are... Uh, now trying to manipulate them so we can feel better, which never works, right? I'm sure you've tried, I've tried, we all have tried to control how other people behave, to manipulate them to behave in a certain way, and it just doesn't work. Even when they do what we want them to do, they still mess it up. And and sometimes they've done what we wanted them to do, and their thought was still like, oh shit, well, this didn't work. It's still not enough. We still feel terrible, right? So they can never hold the knife. They never ever hold the knife. We always hold the knife in like our hands, right? Or like this is it's our thought in our brain. And that is the only, only source of how we feel, okay? So my client not getting a promotion does not make her feel in any way. Her having a thought about that promotion or not getting that promotion is the knife, is what is causing either pain or um, any other feeling for her if she decides to, right? So she just has to figure out how she wants to use that knife, right? If I want to, right now, the way I'm using that knife for my client is that it feels like pain, right? It feels like they're hurting me. But if I want to feel... uh, differently, I will pay more attention. Okay, how am I holding the knife? You know, which direction am I pointing the knife in? And how can I cut with that knife so it doesn't hurt me? Basically, how can I still uh, go move towards the promotion and get it and it not hurt me? Okay, what do I need to think and what do I need to feel for me to get that promotion in the future? Okay, and... um, How am I giving my power away right now to them that makes me feel victim-y and hurt and out of control and not empowered, okay? So anytime you attribute how you terrible you feel to somebody else, you are powerless. You give your power away. You give your any any sort of choice away. You're like, I I can't control how they feel, how what they do, so I don't have a choice in how I feel. And I want to tell you that is always up to you and is always available to you. And it starts with these two questions. What am I feeling right now? And what am I thinking right now that's causing this feeling? And am I open to the possibility that this is the source of my suffering? What if that's true? What if Natalia is right? What if the outside world, the people, the facts, the circumstances cannot cause any feeling in my body, in my head. And all of that is coming from my brain and my thoughts. And my thoughts are just sentences in my head. What if that's true? Imagine what if that's true? Then all of a sudden you have full 100% control over how you feel about your life, over how you think about anything that happens in your life. And That is all I have for you guys. I love you so much. So, by the way, don't, you know, you might be tempted to beat yourself up when you find yourself feeling victim-y and hurt. And don't do that, okay? This is not the point of this process and this work. And in fact, I invite you to be curious and, or maybe not even curious, just um, try to like say, tell yourself facts, okay? You know? This is what's happening. This is what I'm thinking. This is what I'm feeling. If you can't be curious or compassionate, 
just try to go to a neutral place of just stating the facts, right? And try to strip it away from any sort of adjectives, like, my boss is terrible. No, that's not a fact. You can just say, I have a boss, right? So if you, th that's, that's what I have for you is that don't beat yourself up. Don't judge yourself because what I want to tell you is that this does not stop, right? I still have all of this work to do with you. I'm just maybe one step ahead of you where I just have more awareness and more practice behind under my belt. And um, I'm just leading the way for you guys to kind of get you to the empowered hurt where you still feel hurt, but you are know that you're the one causing it, okay? So uh, I encourage you to shoot me any questions you have about this on uh, Instagram or Facebook or email anywhere. You can find me an, uh, under, you know, Coaching Natalia. I look forward to talking to you and I invite you to give yourself a little gift of coming and talking to me about what concerns you. I really want to hear everything that you're thinking. And my mission this year is to help 20 women feel more empowered in their life. And, you know, even when they're feeling hurt, like that would be so amazing for me to, um, to be able to help you do that, right? Um, because life is still 50-50, but if I can help you take all the power back and uh, choose what you want to feel when you want to feel it, this is a gift I will give to you, and this is super fun. So come do this work with me, and it's a free mini session. You can just message me anywhere or go on my website and sign up there, and I will be so happy to talk to you. I'll talk to you next week. Bye.